Hi, this is Rev Myron, and I want to talk about Lesson 233 today. I'm going to share the lesson and my thoughts on it. I give my life to God to guide today. Father, I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well, that I may do your will instead of seeking goals, which cannot be obtained in wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and follow you. Be you the guide and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite, nor love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend but which is yet your perfect gift to me. Today, we have one guide to lead us on. And as we walk together, we will give this day to him with no reserve at all. This is his day. And so it is a day of countless gifts and mercies unto us. Well, today did not go as planned, <laughs> not at all. Evidently, though, it went as it was needed to go. Normally, I do this lesson early in the morning, first thing, really. The day is one o'clock, and I'm just getting to it. But I did read it this morning, and I embraced it. I do give my life to God to guide today and every day. It seems, though, it's best to renew that commitment every morning and every night. The world can be enticing. And distracting. I continue to watch my mind for goals other than the peace of God. I had a moment today when I felt the movement of time and I worried that I would not have enough of it. I asked myself, what is it that I want? More time or the peace of God? This is a question that helps me recalculate when I seem to be going in the wrong direction and I easily and quickly choose again. I so love that last sentence. I love that I have surrendered my days to God. And so I know that this day is one of countless gifts and mercies. Knowing this makes it easy to love everything, to find the good in all things, even those things that I first resist. The contractor said he would try to get by this morning, but he didn't. I can resist this and hate it, or I can accept it and love it. I choose love and acceptance because the peace of God is the only goal that I have. Thank you for joining with me today. See you tomorrow.